Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today um, I will not be talking on uh, writing or any of the writing related topics. Today I will be focusing on a motivational topic and that is how to be in a happy and positive mood always. happy is not about temporary thrills or exciting even or even winning the best prizes and it's not about even being the best looking or being the smartest because even the most richest people in the world or even the most beautiful or even the most smartest can get depressed actually being happy is a matter of lifestyle so what can we do or what kind of lifestyle can we lead to be in a happy and a positive mood always? What can we do to be in a good mood every day of our lives? Of course, this doesn't mean that we will not have bad days or failures or anything that can make us feel temporarily defeated. So what can we do that we can quickly bounce back in a state of confidence and positivity that life will surely turn in our favor? And how to be in a happy mood on a very ordinary day and uh, love each moment of our routine life because we can aim for our goals and our purpose only when we are in a state of or in a positive mindset right there is a way and that is to adopt a lifestyle that embraces programs and activities that promote happiness so let us look at the different ways or factors to promote a happier lifestyle number one number one is to exercise it is very well known that exercise is a great mood booster since it releases endorphins that helps to alleviate the mood so if you make a habit of exercising every day you can beat the stress and heaviness that clutters your way of thinking it will aid in keeping you in a happier and lighter mood as you go about your business every day. Besides, this regular exercise will also keep you fit and give you a sense of confidence where physique is concerned. And there are so many options available. If you dislike uh, the gym, you can opt for yoga, dancing, swimming or any other sports like tennis. The friends and acquaintances you meet in the gym or whatever sports arena will uh, give you a sense of um, belonging and uh, companionships as uh, their goals and passions will be aligned with yours. Then the next factor that helps you to live a happier life, embrace a happier lifestyle is meditation. Meditation is a must if you have to live a happy life. Meditation calms any kind of turmoil that you might be feeling inside or any kind of problem that is making you restless. It soothes the mind and helps to eliminate negative thoughts that might haunt you and bring you down on a daily basis. You will feel a sense of calm and um, tend to see your problems more logically and with a sense of wisdom. The practice of meditation helps you shed more light on the kinds of problems you're facing and helps you to analyze them better. You will tend to gain clarity over them and this will help you achieve peace of mind. It develops your intuition better and helps you find more rational solution to your problems. You will find yourself feeling less and less bitter as it tends to increase your emotional stability. A feeling of relaxation tends to pervade your everyday life and it increases your creativity too. It reduces lessness by stabilizing your thought and also helps you gain more focus in your work. It expands your consciousness and you tend to view things in a greater perspective than before. All in all, it gives you a great sense of wisdom. Then the next factor to have a happy lifestyle is very simple and that is to drink water. Water keeps you hydrated and less cranky. Then the next factor to promote happiness is to start keeping a journal. Write down your problems. It helps empty that clutter clogging your mind and it feels as if a major weight has been lifted from your shoulders. 
it helps release pent up feelings and emotions once you write down your feelings it gives you a greater perspective of the agitation you're feeling inside as it gives you more clarity it helps to sort out your feelings better by disentangling them processing them and uh, relating them more logically with outer events you see your problems uh, more maturely as an outsider and hence you can e easily find solutions to them once you write down your thoughts and feelings you find your worries less overwhelming and easier to let it go it helps to soothe your troubled mind and helps to counsel yourself all in all it helps in healing yourself thereby bringing in harmony in your life then the next factor to have a happier life or live in a state of positivity is to try to live in the present the more you live in the present the better you will feel every day of your life needless dwelling in the future or dwelling in the past is a great mood killer live in the philosophy that the past has been done and gone the lesson you learned then will pay richly all your life and um, even if you feel there was no lesson, there is no point dwelling over it. It will only bring you down. Give in a sense of uh, expectation that whatever will happen in the future will only happen for your best. Meaning, live in a positive and a optimistic state of mind. Believe in the higher source that there is a greater and grander design for you and only will best will follow its course. Then the next factor to live in a happier state of mind is to embrace a broader view of things. Try to forgive others and let go. The more we hold on to a grudge, the more bitter and an angry person we will become. It will only bring us down. It will make us even more unhappier than the person we are angry on or angry about. The more we let go, lighter will be our state of mind and uh, the more happier we will be. Understand that when a person is negative with you or doesn't behave to pro with you properly, then maybe that is his basic nature. That is the way he behaves not only with you but, uh, but to others too. So don't take it personally. He or she in general carries that attitude uh, in life and behaves like that with a lot of other people too. So just forgive and forget. But this doesn't mean that you have to be very friendly with that uh, uh, person again and blindly believe uh, in them again no but be wiser by releasing the anger and bringing a distance between you and the other person and be more cautious next time then the next tip to be a happier person is to see things from another's point of view if somebody doesn't live up to expectations on a certain day then um, try to see things from the other person's point of view maybe that person was having uh, a bad day and hence he or she didn't notice you or pay you attention maybe that person had a major disagreement with his colleague in the office and hence he was happy with you then the next factor to um, live a happier life is to be a more helpful and kinder person this really helps in building more happy hormones in you when we help others notice that we feel much better and lighter after that act of kindness so if you resolve to do something kind every day a life in general will be a very positive one then the next tip uh, to promote a happier lifestyle is to develop a hobby develop a hobby especially a creative one such as painting stitching knitting pottery or craft work it will help you keep yourself immersed in the creative process and after an hour you will notice that you are a much better and a happier person then the next factor to be a happier person is to try to be emotionally independent so try to be uh, in the, as independent as possible especially from the emotional aspect because many a time even if you have a lot of friends there you may find a time when um, there is no one around you especially when you're very low and depressed People are quite caught up with their own lives and rarely you will find someone generous enough uh, to lend their time out of their own busy challenging lives. So be your best friend always and uh, don't have expectations from others even if he or she is your best friend or even your sibling. 
Pe people tend to keep changing as per situations in life. Everyone has their own growth path and they may make different mistakes in their own journey of life. It's part of being human and so don't have expectations. Even if you have done a lot from then, don't have any expectations. Expectations only ruin relationships. So give and forget. As the Bible says, the famous quote, uh, it says that when you do some charity, don't let um, even your left hand know what your right hand is doing. This philosophy will always keep you mentally strong, emotionally independent and happy. Be passionate about your work, your hobbies, your fitness activities and other practices such as meditation, yoga, etc. This will keep your mind always busy, happy and involved. It will steer you away from those negative monkey thoughts that is the root cause of unhappiness and a bad mood. Then the next factor to be to have a happy life is to have faith. Live in confidence that whatever, however difficult, however challenging it is or however bad it may be, there's always a higher source to help you um, overcome these challenges and uh, guide you as well as help you achieve your dreams. Wishes are nothing but prayers that are bound to come true if we have enough faith in ourselves as well as the higher source. Then the last factor to live a happy life is to believe in yourself and to never feel superior or inferior to anyone. Everyone is born with their special gifts and talents. Be confident in your own talents but also appreciate what you don't have in others. Also never feel uh, inferior to anyone. Everyone, no one is perfect. Everyone has one or the other flaw. So have faith in yourself, be confident and um, this will give uh, you a balanced feeling about how you perceive yourself as well as others. So with this we come to the end of uh, some of the tips on how to live a happy and a positive life and be in a state of positivity always. Uh, do let me know what you think about it and how hard or easy you think they are. Do you have any special tips of your own to be positive and happy always? So if you have, please do share them. And please do not forget to like this video. Please send me suggestions uh, on what kind of other motivation topics you want me to talk about. And uh, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.